Ready? Everybody ready now? This is Renee's yep. camera now. Okay. I'm just letting you know. I'm on Bravo. Yes. We're about to do a press conference right now. Okay. All right. Bye. Good evening. Um, I have standing with me a uh, special agent in charge, uh, Jim Smith, our gang uh, commander, Cephas, our knight, Lieutenant Frost. So approximately uh, 6, 10 p.m., uh, we received a call for service, a shooting in progress, drive-by shooting, in the 2100 block of Mid Lane. As officers arrived, they quickly located African American male, uh, which appears to be in his mid 20s, deceased on the scene. Uh, he was driving a white Mercedes vehicle. Uh, witnesses state that um, a black, newer model um, Mitsubishi SUV type vehicle with dark windows uh, came up on the vehicle, uh, began to fire. Two suspects got out. Um, the only thing we have on them, are, they were dressed in black, all black, with hoodies, possibly shades on. Uh, they fled either eastbound or westbound on San Felipe. Uh, that's all we have here. I could tell you there was a number of shots fired, um, as evident by the casings that's on the ground. Um, we do believe this is a targeted incident. Uh, we don't know don't have a lot of details. It's an active investigation. Uh, we're, as we normally do, reviewing surveillance cameras, uh, private and businesses. But I do ask the public, if you see something, if you've seen something out on this scene, or you know something, please do. Uh, we don't know the victim, don't know who he is, but we do know that he has a family. And I think it's always important that we say uh, and ask the city to pray for the family. But again, um, and I want to thank the residents over here and the business owners. Everybody's been very supportive, but you can imagine the stress, the level of stress when something happens like this at, you know, 6, 6 p.m. Uh, or just a little bit after 6 p.m. But again, it's a targeted incident. It's, it's, it's uh, and, and, and I think that's important for everybody to know. Uh, we'll open up for questions. Chief, did you say what kind of weapons were used? I'm not sure. Um, I, I didn't uh, look at them on, on the scene as they're processing it right now, but uh, multiple, multiple uh, shots fired out here. What, what do you think the connection was between the victim and the suspect? I have no idea right now, and I don't want to speculate, but uh, I can tell you something. Uh, a number of uh, uh, individuals are working on this, and I have my partner here. Uh, um, my partner in crime, and I said um, our great relationship we have, and, and not only with uh, uh, Special Agent in Charge Smith, all our other federal partners and our local partners. And I just want to say this, uh, we've got a great city with a lot of great citizens. And I've said it before, um, you harm somebody, you kill somebody in our city, uh, no stone left unturned, we're coming after you. So uh, anybody that knows anything, get us the information, but uh, we're hard at work uh, trying to find out who's responsible for this. Was he at the bank? Did he take no, no, just here right here on the street in 2100 block uh, so he was actually northbound uh, when the vehicle approached and began shooting. Why is that here? It's my partner. It's my partner and they, they're lending support. I don't want to talk speak for him and he, he might want to say, say a few words but yeah. And in a lot of these cases whether it be a drive-by or some of these murders that we believe that we can bring our resources to assist we will do that for the FBI. Um, public doesn't really know that we're behind the scenes supporting our partners uh, and it's not just here around the country and around the world we, we support our partners and so a lot of crimes out there we, we are supporting our partners we're behind the scenes and we're bringing our tools to the fight because things such as this this drive-by shooting according to reports a rapper btb savage has been killed in near houston's river oak section on thursday night the incident occurred around 6 p.m. and when officers arrived, they found BTB Savage deceased at the scene. Per ABC 13, witnesses say BTB Savage was driving a white Mercedes when the suspects drove up in a black Subaru vehicle.
Multiple shots were fired and then two suspects got out of the vehicle and fled on San Filippi in an unknown direction. Police say based on the number of shell casings that the shooting appears to be targeted. BTB Savage revisited the night he killed a man in self-defense just a few days ago in an interview on Vlad TV. The Cleveland rapper stated that the incident stemmed from a collaboration request from another artist who offered to pay him for a future. He said that when his would-be collaborator entered his home with his entourage, they began surveying the interior, which he considered a red flag. Shortly after a brief introduction, a member of the would-be collaborators group conversed about his chain before threatening him and his girlfriend with violence if he didn't have it over. This ignited a wild wrestling match for the assailant's firearms. Ultimately, both parties involved were downed, but BTB Savage emerged as the only survivor after directing his girlfriend to shoot the intruder dead during their scuffle. As BTB Savage is news in his rattling of the event, he talks about guiding his son and girlfriend through the matter while nursing a broken and bloodied arm. He also recalls the friend who drove him to the hospital. Elsewhere, BTB Savage recalled waking up in the hospital bed and being questioned by law enforcement about the fatality that occurred at his home. Towards the end of the clip, DJ Vlad chimes and shares, and shares a similar occurrence about a home invasion attempt at his home that nearly saw him kill the intruder. We will be bringing you all the funeral and memorial updates as events unfold, but we condemn all sorts of violence. Rest in Paul King.